Take Tracy, for instance. She's been attending meetings every week for months. But she'll do just about anything to get her hands on a cell phone. You have three minutes. Dolores' job was on the line if she didn't get the Livingstons home spotless before they returned, since she had spent a bit too much time canoodling with the gardener that afternoon. Can't she remove the rust from the grill and tough carpet stains in time? Relax. With a little help from SOS and 409, she can whip this place into shape, leaving her plenty of time to stop and smell the roses. <laughs> What happened? I hate her. Baby who? And how do you know Richie, young lady? I'm his wife. What? Pounce. Honey, why don't you say grace? Okay. All right. What will it show us today? Watch it well and you will find treasures of a special kind. I'm moving to a place, maybe somewhere out in space, where honest people live and just fly kind. So your song, Take Your Ram and Ram It, is very poignant. Thank you. Thank you. It was um, actually inspired. I, I saw Benny on the internet and I just, I was really taken. I had to make a point. I had to make a statement and I, I knew that I would meet him once one day and be able to sing it for him. Lucinda and Sally do everything together. They buy the same clothes, have the same taste in music, and are always mistaken for sisters. Why, they've even dated the same men. So when Lucinda wants to tell her mom how much she means to her, she always turns to Hallmark for the perfect words. Because Mother's Day only comes around once a year. I faked a love affair, jogged to Delaware, ate my underwear to play the part. I slept out on the street, dined on turtle feet, crashed a bridal suite to serve my art. I'll be your hussy for a juicy roll. I'm never fussy when I sell my soul. Anything for 